gentlemen, on behalf of the faculty and staff of the University of Texas at El Paso, I welcome you to the winter 2018 commencement. Bienvenidos a todos. Our beautiful University Mace, a work of art created by UTEP alumna and metalsmith Beverly Penn, tells the story of UTEP's distinguished history and conveys honor, accomplishment, learning, and scholarship. The Mace plays a prominent role in all commencement and convocation ceremonies and is now part of the lasting legacy of UTEP's centennial commemoration as well as a symbol of the exciting future that awaits us as we confidently progress into UTEP's second century of distinguished service to this U.S.-Mexico border region. Bearing the University Mace and serving as Grand Marshal this evening is a distinguished representative of the College of Science, Dr. Jorge Lopez, Shoemaker Professor of Physics. Dr. Lopez, please stand. Earlier this semester, Dr. Jorge Lopez was honored to receive the White House Presidential Award for Excellence in Science, Mathematics, and Engineering Mentoring, the nation's highest mentoring award. Dr. Lopez received his PhD in nuclear physics from Texas A&M University in 1986. And after four years of postdoctoral work at the Niels Bohr Institute in Copenhagen, Denmark, Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratories in Berkeley, California, and Cal Poly San Luis Obispo, he accepted a faculty appointment at UTEP. As impressive as these achievements are, they are also especially inspirational for us. Why? Because I'm very proud to tell you, all of you graduates should know that in the past, Dr. Lopez sat where you are sitting this evening, twice. The first time was in 1977 when he received his Bachelor of Science degree in physics. And the second, two years later, when he completed his Master's of Science in Physics. But these accomplishments are not all this UTEP alumnus has in common with many of you. Dr. Lopez grew up in Ciudad Juarez and as a child developed an insatiable curiosity about science. As early as third grade, he performed scientific experiments from a textbook he received as a gift. At the time, science was not part of the formal educational curriculum in elementary school, and it wouldn't be until the sixth grade that the doors to the world of physics would open up to him. It is also when he discovered how a great mentor can have a profound effect on the pursuit of a dream. His sixth grade physics teacher allowed him to help grade homework and to sketch problems on the blackboard for the class, and Jorge found that the more he worked, the more he learned. Much of that early pre-college guidance and mentorship taught him the importance of sharing experiences with his students. Applying what he learned in his own educational and career journey has allowed Dr. Lopez to relate to students in our region in profound ways. He understands his students' hesitation and their concerns, and he knows exactly what to say to guide them towards success in their pursuit of a career in the sciences. It's noteworthy that as a high school student, Jorge had been discouraged from studying physics because careers for physicists weren't available in what is time. After a brief semester in engineering at the Instituto Tecnológico in Ciudad Juarez, Jorge knew that physics was his true calling. He enrolled at UTEP, changed his major to physics, and met Professor Eugene Allen Dean. He marks that moment in his educational history as the beginning of everything he's become today. In fact, Dr. Lopez's current office was once Alan Dean's, and he will proudly show you the nameplate that he's kept as a memento. Jorge Lopez recently said, quote, we are duty bound to serve the students of El Paso. We also have a duty to serve the Mexican side of the border. Economically, we're intertwined. Academically, we're intertwined. UTEP is a guiding light for the entire region, end quote. During his tenure at UTEP, Dr. Lopez has published numerous books and papers and has been honored with many prestigious awards for his research. His passion for research is matched only by his dedication to fostering student success. One family in particular can boast, boast for, 
both first and second generations of alumni who have published with Dr. Lopez. Their third generation and soon to graduate from high school student is already making plans to study physics at UTEP and specifically with Professor Lopez. Thank you, Dr. Lopez, for everything you've done, your dedication to making a difference for young people on both sides of our border is not only a guiding light for our region, but also for our nation and the world. Thank you, Dr. Lopez. Program this evening. This evening, thank you for being with us. And go, Miners! Thank <laughs> you.